three years ago, the government and Southern decided to take on about 400 RMT guards. They thought they were going to beat him into submission and then extend driver only operation across the rest of the rail network. That was their plan. Have they succeeded? No. Will they succeed? No. Well, you are 100% right. The breakthroughs and the victories we've got in other train operating companies started with our guard members on Southern. It's their victory, as much as anyone else's victory that we're achieving elsewhere. And hopefully this message um, inside that building will be heard loud and clear because we ain't going away and we ain't going to stop fighting. So you may as well sit around the table with us and start negotiating to get safety train guards back on trains. Yay! Along with Care 2 to hand in a petition to the Department of Transport with over 90,000 signatures, predominantly, predominantly from Southern Rail travellers. If that's not a strong message, then what else do we need to do? So let's all stand together and make sure that we change what's happening here. Because of the gold dispute, disabled access to rail has now become a mainstream issue in the UK. Everyone's talking about it. Uh, that and Brexit, obviously. But uh, in some ways, this is the biggest win of all, not the conversation about Brexit. Um, and it's important for artist passengers and especially disabled passengers to know that this is such an important issue. And we hope that the RMT will continue to be pioneers for disabled access. So on International Women's Day, as Michelle mentioned, we uh, went to the Department for Transport uh, with a petition that was signed by over 90,000 uh, people. I've not spoken to anyone who's told me that they would prefer to be on a train without a second member of staff. A huge big thank you on behalf of Unite members, because this fight is about safety, safety of the public, and that includes Unite members. And we've watched with admiration as you've been put under all kinds of pressure from the bosses, from the establishment, from some parts of the right wing of the Labour Party to try and defeat you in the campaign for safety. And we're here to offer not only Unite's executive support, but my personal support to your campaign. There is no doubt that your action speaks for literally millions of ordinary people. There's no doubt that the campaign is not only an industrial campaign, and I know you're strong enough to resist whatever pressures are coming your way, but this is also a political campaign and I'm delighted therefore that the leader of our party, the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, is committed to nationalising the railways as soon as it This Prime Minister told us and the Chancellor that it was the end of austerity. Well, they want to come with me to many of our heartlands around our nation where austerity still bites deep. In any general election we'll be able to talk about the future for our kids, about housing and the appalling situation that we have there. Shameful. About making Shameful. certain that the greedy bastards yes. who don't pay their taxes are made to pay those taxes. £40 billion pound a year lost to the Treasury because of tax avoidance and we have a government that is complicit in that particular sham. So comrades, believe in your values, keep your spirits high. There's many, many, many people with you and I know that with your beliefs and with the fight that you have in you, justice will prevail. We have now got it established that actually People want, not only the working people, our people who work the trains, but actually all the working people want a second safety critical person on every train. That is now established. We fought this government to a standstill, to an absolute standstill. They want this off the agenda. They want us to go away. We ain't going to go away, are we? We're going to make sure where we have a train, that train will operate on with a guard because we want that safe, secure and accessible railway for everybody. 
and we're going to get it. I want to also say to our Southern Guard members, the reason why today is really important as well is to give them a message. We're not going to leave you behind. That's what we're demanding now. Put the guard back on the train right now. You can do it. So what are we going to say? No to? Fido! What do we want? No. We will achieve it. Thanks very much for everybody coming today. Let's keep up the fight. We will win. We will succeed. Thank you. He's failing grailing. The most incompetent minister, secretary of state for transport the UK's ever had, it's got to be said. And I think we need to mount the pressure to call for his resignation. We have many disabled people who use Southern every day, but they can't just turn up and go like everyone else. Because Southern denial responsibility when they do turn up and go, and we've had many disabled people left on the platforms for hours at a time in freezing conditions, unable to board the trains. And of course, last year in May, the Department of Transport brought in Rail 2020. And in another nasty twist, they cut the times of dwelling times at the stations. It's all about efficiency and speed and keeping the train on time. But for disabled people, it's another barrier to exit and get on the train. If the train is late, the disabled pe person's been left on the platform. That, my friends, is a travesty. And we are not going to put up with that. We are behind your fight to keep guards on the trains. You are fighting for every man, woman and child. This fight is everyone's fight. Everyone needs to get behind you. Solidarity to the RMT. The key issue for us, and I think we have got the message across, that this is about basic safety of our traveling passengers, the public that we serve. And if you see the statistics this last week, about the increase in particular about violent crime at the moment. This is why we've taken this action, because we want to ensure the passengers that we serve are safe on their journeys. It is as simple as that. Do you know, I pay tribute to our members for the sacrifices they've made, because this isn't about some self-interested dispute. This is ensuring that we have a safe travelling system. And I just to say this, just to thank everyone that's been involved, thank the union for its constancy, its commitment right the way through. Because we've made it clear, no matter how long it takes, we're going to win this dispute, no matter how long. But I also tell you this, there may well be an early general election, the way the Tories are falling apart. Yep. I think it might be October, and I don't care whoever the Tory leader is at that point in time, I think we'll secure a Labour government. And when that, we're saying now we're preparing for government, we're drafting our new manifesto, we're preparing our first Queen's speech, the programme in that first session, we're preparing our alternative budget that we'll introduce as soon as we get in. We want to ensure that in that first Queen's speech, bringing rail back into public ownership is one of the top priorities when we take power. And when we do, when we bring this lot back into public ownership, let's make it absolutely clear on Southern, the guards will go back. Yeah. And again, what, what is interesting about all of this, despite all the media attacks, despite all what the Tory press have thrown at us, in every opinion poll now, bringing rail back into public ownership is receiving overwhelming yeah. support. Yeah. And part of that is that people want a decent service. They want a service that's reliable, that's accountable, but above all else, they want a service that is safe. Yeah. I just to repeat again, I can't pay enough thanks to you for what you've done, your dedication and your commitment. There are other groups here, DPAC and others, who have demonstrated just how important this strike is to people with disabilities, to families travelling, to anyone who wants a safe public transport system. So yes, 
I'm here in solidarity, but I want to thank you for the solidarity that you've shown to the travelling public in this dispute over these years. Oh, oh. We, we say no! Say no.